hello and good morning welcome back to another week with me i am actually in a hurry so we're gonna make this quick if i can do that <laughs> but i am actually gonna go uh, have a full day up in seattle i have two bridal trials back to back um so yeah we have that going on and also this week i have a brand kind of shoot that i need to do I'm, I'm gonna make some content for a brand that i work with all the time and i do actually have intention to sell a lot of stuff and that's kind of where i need to get things collected this week so that i can put everything up on my web shop i've been really bad about that because it's just so much work I haven't been listing anything on my web shop it's just such a pain in the butt but I'm gonna get it done so that I can start selling stuff because the really the point of being a thrifter and being an upcycler is that I eventually want to sell and you guys can shop it that would be fun right wouldn't you like that so I'm gonna go make myself a kava because I have to do a drive on the interstate and I don't love that um, I'm gonna show you my outfit and then we're gonna get going and I have to stop at the store to grab like a granola bar and just some provisions because I I don't feel like I'll have time. It's gonna be one of those like back-to-back -back situations where the time in between is gonna be cleaning my makeup kit, pretty much. And then I'll have to jump right into the next appointment. Today's outfit. I actually had planned on wearing closed-toed sneakers because I don't usually like to wear anything open-toe with, you know, working at a salon. If I was at MAC, I would get roasted for this outfit. <laughs> I've been roasted before. Stupid makeup counters where they just are so snotty and terrible to you sometimes. The skirt is thrifted. Bloomers underneath. These are like my chub rub bloomers that I wear because the skirts I wear are always so short and also because I don't want to sweat and chafe. The shirt is from H&M. The tote is from Marc Jacobs and the shoes were thrifted. And that is the outfit. Do you ever get mad at wind? <laughs> I just got so annoyed. It was like blowing my hair into my lip gloss and I'm so glad I'm wearing shorts because my whole ass was just exposed to the entire city of Seattle. It was like, the wind was going up <laughs> and my skirt was like, it was Maryland. I had a Maryland moment. Um, I'm done. I'm gonna take this hat off so that when I drive home, I don't have to like avoid putting my neck backwards. But the brides were kind enough to let me film the before and afters. Uh, the first bride, we well, actually, both brides, we did pretty minimal makeup. I feel like that's my specialty and what most brides that book me ask for. I actually say on my website that that's my specialty. So I think that's why I get that kind of booking quite a bit is women who just want to like look like themselves. They want their skin to look like their skin. They don't want a lot of makeup. That's kind of where I've gotten like really good at like putting on foundation but not covering up freckles. There's like a little bit of a art to the application. So I'm, I'm proud of my looks. So we kept the makeup a little more glam, had a little bit of fun with the first one. Second one, we wanted to keep her freckles. She never wears makeup. So she really wanted it dialed back. I blended even more into the crease and she didn't want it. So we went back over it and just lightened it up even more. Uh, no eyeliner, lashes that you can barely even see. Like she wanted light. I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. I have all their stuff written down so that I won't forget what we did and I'm happy as can be. I do enjoy it so much. Like I really do. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm so glad that I get to do this. Stay. Cause you're just gonna have to turn right back around. <laughs> Can you do that on stairs? Be careful. Everybody be careful. Hello. Hello. Is this mama's little teacher's pet? This is a little teacher's pet right here. And this one too. Good morning. 
morning welcome back today is doggy day <laughs> doggy daycare day a friend of ours has two adorable dogs which you just saw they've been here several times and they were going on a road trip and so we were watching their dogs for them they are the cutest <laughs> they're the cutest one is a frog and that is a french bulldog mixed with a pug he is like my shadow the sweetest boy he's very sensitive so i welcome them and you will be seeing them in this video they're gonna be here for a week so yeah their kennels are downstairs in my living room so they're just huge <laughs> the chihuahua is like this big and his kennel is like for a big dog but it's great because he has his food his bed his everything's in there so it's like a little apartment today is honestly just going to be like I'm, st I'm still in like very casual wear it's not going to be a dress-up day or anything and I'm going to be going through all of the upcycle inventory and thrift inventory that I'm going to be listing on my Poshmark so if you guys like thrift stuff you like my taste then you'll like the things in my shop because I only put stuff in my shop that I think's cute I wouldn't put it in there if it wasn't <laughs> I sure as hell wouldn't. I would just donate it. Here's the boys' little kennel beds. This is their apartments. That's what I'm just going to call them is their apartments. And the only time they go in there is at night when they're sleeping and when they're eating. They will spend the rest of this vacation hanging out with me in the yard. I wanted to show you guys what I have. I'm going to try to take all the sound out in the background. I wanted to show you guys this because it came surprisingly in the mail. As you guys know, I am on my almost third year of sobriety. I hit sobriety, I hit my third year in September, even though if I hadn't had one beer at a baseball game, I would be four months ahead of that. Um, I had one beer that went back because I instantly regretted it. So I really hate that I had to start my counter over because of the stupid beer, <laughs> stupid beer. But anyway, Alas, I got a delivery from one of my favorite de-alcoholized wine companies and I've worked with them before. They did Sober Summer last year. It was their Sober Summer campaign and I did a charcuterie picnic situation photo for them and a couple of pictures in their Sober Summer um, t-shirt and it was a really cute little campaign. I'm gonna stop babbling. <laughs> Here's their Sober Summer tote adorbs and then this thing is super cool look at that it's a wine stopper really cool gold wine stopper i also got a sober summer pin which i'm going to just stick to the tote very cute and then i got two lovely bottles from them this is their de-alcoholized de-alcoholized alcohol removed <laughs> really struggle with that this is their alcohol removed rosé and this is the sparkling so it comes in like a champagne style bottle and this was the first thing I ever tried with Joyous I've now tried every single thing that they make and I couldn't say I have a favorite because they're all so good the red wine tastes like red wine the rosé tastes like rosé it's so nice because you feel like you're not missing out on all the times that when you're like when Emily came to stay I had rosé with her and I just felt like I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't missing out on the festivities and the habit that you get into of drinking with your friends. So you just, you don't get, you don't get left out. <laughs> it's really great and it tastes so good. It's so refreshing. Yeah, adult beverages for people who are sober. And then the rosé I have on my wine rack is the rosé. Uh, but yeah, this one's just the non-sparkling, so it tastes more like a flat rosé if that's what you like. I like bubbles, so I'm more into the bubbly rosé, but they're both fabulous. Um, and one's really good. Well, they're both great, but just wanted to share that. I'm going to get back to making my food, and I'll see you here in a minute when I show you some of my featured store items. So here is my lunch. I'm so glad I got the uh, arugula mix because this is exactly what I'm in the mood for. I did like a, you know, spring salad kind of with blueberries and tomatoes, chicken, and I'm going to use this balsamic over top and it should be pretty good. Okay, so here's the first thing that I thought I would show you guys that I think is unique if you're into vintage. This is a really crazy gingham dress that has these shoulder capes on both sides. <laughs> it looks like a cape a little bit. 
yeah, I like it. I just, this is the tr this is when I get into trouble. If something fits me, I, mo I more than likely have a hard time getting rid of it because what if I wanna be Dorothy for Halloween? <laughs> I need my Dorothy costume. It'll be in the shop for anybody who's looking for either a costume or just likes it. I mean, it's just, in general, it's a cute dress. And another checkered dress that I'm sitting here talking myself into keeping. Ugh, you guys. Here's the thing. It has a drop waist, which is cute. I don't like this kind of length on me with this particular dress. So I always end up harnessing it. It's still really cute though. It's an H&M dress, lots of ruffles. Ugh. Do I need to keep this one? This is why I don't do this, because I end up putting everything back into my closet. How cute would this be in autumn, layered with some boots? I'm really sad, honestly, that I don't think I could upcycle this dress enough to make it fit me. I need to steam it. I have a pile of things I need to steam for that reason, and this one I was hoping I can get away with it. Well, anyway, I'll talk about it with you guys, and then I'll steam it before I take the pictures. But I love this dress. I got this as my Barbie dress for a post I did. I think that was actually a post for Joyous. I did like um, a fun summer cocktail with this in the Barbie dress. It's just so fun. Look at that design. It's got pockets in the front. It's really flattering. Like it, it's just really flattering for that area. But then it still like kind of hugs down at the waist and hip and the leg. Anyway, this is actually a size 16. And when I did my little photo shoot in it, I had it completely clipped in the back because it is a few sizes too big for me. It didn't look like it on the hanger. Like, doesn't it look tiny? <laughs> it looks tiny. Like you can see it is clipped even like folded over so it's a bit it's a bigger than it seems it's like a 16. i love it i'm so sad if this fit me hands down would be keeping it and just wearing it for no reason other than i just want to look fabulous i didn't realize i was getting rid of so many checkers and gingham dresses because it's one of my favorite patterns I would not be getting rid of this dress if it didn't fit a little snug on me around the chest. That seems to be the issue with me is like this area <laughs> is always a little bit of a struggle. Yeah, I could fit it and I can wear it and I've worn it before. And I love the balloon sleeves. Like they're kind of that puffy romantic sleeve. I love the color. I love the shortness of the dress. I mean, ideally this is the perfect dress for me. It just has no stretch to it. So if it doesn't fit you on the shoulders, like underneath the armpit area and across the chest, it's gonna be tight. It's just a tiny bit smaller. It's from A New Day, which is a Target brand and it's a large. So it fits, I would say like a medium large. So if you want this dress, claim it before someone else does because it's so cute and it's so me. Like if you're into that kind of cottage core romantic summer dress, I mean, I, I hate giving things like those labels, like twee. I don't love that word, but I would say it's kind of just like a way of dressing a little bit romantic, then you would love this dress. And it would be a fun one to accessorize with like some mustard leggings and may, or just like bare leg with some white sneakers. You could wear a harness with it. I mean, there's just endless things you can do to make this dress cute and accessorize it. Some people prefer to um, go the Poshmark route. If you want to just order multiple things from me um, on my web shop, it just cuts out the middleman for me, but whatever makes you more comfortable. I don't, I actually forget what Poshmark's like return policy is. And for mine on my web shop, the only thing is, is that I can't do returns because this is like not an actual, like business, this is just me selling some stuff. You know, if this was a full grown business, full on business, then I maybe could take things back if it was like damaged, but sorry, it's like as is at this point because it's just like a yard, it would be like if you went to a yard sale, I'm just trying to sell some of my stuff and get it out of my house. And unfortunately there is a pile of things that I have decided I'm gonna keep. <laughs> Damn it, why do I do this? Two of them are comfortable house clothes that I wear in autumn. And this dress is vintage and it actually doesn't fit me at all, but I have had it for so long at this point, I think it'd be kind of cute on my mannequin upstairs. My mannequin needs a new outfit and it's a little Dutch dress. It's so adorable and I have had it for sale and I just, it's one of those items that to me is priceless. I've had it for, God. I can't even say. And it was vintage when I got it. I got it at an antique store. So it's a very, very, very old dress. It's just a piece that I just cannot 
seem to part with. So I've changed my mind about that one. But um, the rest of the stuff just needs, like this Sabery dress, I got it to go to Pride one summer so fun and i actually thought about upcycling it but it honestly is too cool and some things i think are off limits to cutting especially when they have really cool details at the bottom <laughs> just know i have limits when it comes to some vintage but yeah anyway that's it for now um i have a nail system coming that i want to show you guys because i i've been doing just regular nail polish and i do wear dish gloves when i have a really good manicure that i'm proud of and i want it to last dish gloves are a huge help in making them last and then i have this stuff that i put on my nails that helps with keeping them really strong so i want to show you guys that if it comes today i'll show it to you today and if not we'll talk about it tomorrow that's it i'm going to uh tidy up get my steamer out and probably put on rupaul <laughs> of like natural nail products because I my nails and skin can't handle certain things it just doesn't like lash glue and certain types of nail products like my cuticles will swell <laughs> it just it kind of is a pain in the ass honestly so this right here I'll link this below I'll link anything I talk about from here on moving forward I usually try to remember to do it but I don't always if I say something at all that I've ordered whether it's Amazon or H&M or whatever I'll just make sure I try to link it so you guys uh, know what I'm talking about but this is called Melody Susie floor we gel nail polish I'm so sick of doing my nails ruining them right away I just did something like a white I was trying to do like a white pearly polish and I spent all this time making them really nice I was watching TV I was sitting there and then I turned to like pick up the remote and it just smeared across the top. I just was like, take it all off, take it all off. And then I just immediately went online and started looking up gel polish that goes through a UV. So it's the UV light reactant polish that you need to cure. Packaging was really pretty, but this is supposed to be non-toxic. It's like vegan and this and that and the other. It has like all these claims and yeah, it's said to be... It's said to be non-toxic, even though when you read the back, you're like, what are these things? <laughs> I still don't know that these ingredients are that great, but we'll see if my nails respond poorly to this or not. And if they do, I'll know, because usually it starts off with the tips of my fingers feel kind of funny, and then my armpits will get really itchy. And if my armpits start, to start itching, that's the first indicator to take whatever is on my hands off my hands because if not by the next day my nail beds will be swollen it is a whole situation I don't want to pay to go get my nails done professionally anymore then I get really nervous that I'm allergic to what they're using because a lot of nail salons aren't super sanitary and they use toxic products and I'm just so sensitive to it that I'm scared to go do it and then have a reaction to it have to take it off and have spent the money you know because it's getting so expensive to get your nails done anymore it's like a hundred bucks it's pretty much a hundred bucks no matter what i remember when i used to be able to get a full set for 25 dollars. <laughs> like i remember those days does anyone else remember the 25 dollar full set nail day so annoying so i got the base and top coat from melody Susie. the reason why i'm doing this instead of green flash which is a really well-known non-toxic like organic or whatever nail product company is because it's so expensive one bottle is well i guess it's not that bad it's kind of like sc or opi it's 20 dollars for a bottle but i want like multiple colors i whenever i need a new product I usually need like the clear coats and like all the other things and I can't spend a hundred dollars on the colors that I want and the top coats and all the different various because you always have to do a bottom and a top when it comes to gel step one and three and then step two is the color and I really wanted the basics I needed a good pinky color a red color I think there's a black I just wanted all of my basic favorite colors because all I really wear on my nails, I'll play with different colors, but all I typically go for is white, black, red, like an orangey red, like a dark burgundy in the autumn months. And that's it. Like I pretty much, nude, it's one of my favorites. So I just pretty much do the same thing. They're on the tops, so that's good. So when you put them away in a container, you know, in whatever nail polish thing you're using, 
you can see the tops, the fleury, fleur, fleury. So we have a brownie red, burgundy red, which is what I love. This is just white, which is a go-to staple. We have a nice nude pink, and then we have black, which is definitely a, a yes in my book with the black. Like, I want a rose, I want like a rosy color. I'm gonna do white. I really need something. I love the gels because once you cure them and they're in the light, you can immediately put on a cuticle oil or whatever and they're good and you can go do the dishes and cook. I just don't have the patience for waiting for my nail polish to dry. I just don't. So I really hope that this works. And then I got this is the last thing and everybody's got Stanley cups and I've just never been a trend follower type person. I'm just like, okay, whatever. Everybody loves it, whatever. But then I started thinking about it. My plastic cups that I use for my waters, they get kind of funky. They just kind of start smelling a little funky. And I don't know if that's because like the stopper is rubber, like the thing that I use to drink, uh, the top has a permanent crusty lip gloss on it that I just can never get off. And the spout thing and all that is starting to kind of not really work that great. Like I feel like it makes a funny sound when I drink it. So I don't know, there's just some things that I'm like, well maybe I'll try the stainless steel big mugs that everybody's like been using <laughs> and I'm finally on board with it so I just googled a one that would match here I wanted it to match this room so it's that like peachy brown color like this room is it's kind of more like a tan but it looked peachy on I keep talking and hearing my voice echoing back in it that's how big it is but I'm excited to finally be on board with everybody else and the giant cups that everybody drinks out of that steel on the inside. So I just feel like this will be easier to clean and now I get it. <laughs> it's not Stanley Cup though, it's just generic. It's just like a generic brand on Amazon. But I got that because of the trend of everybody getting them and me being jealous that I don't have one yet now. Anyway, so that's it. That is all the stuff I got. I'm gonna go do my nails, my nails. How's that work? Oh look, it has little roses. Oh my gosh, these would be so cute. I have to do the roses on the white. How does that work? Cute, it even has little white flowers, which would be really fun on the black nail polish. Oh, yeah. I'm going to, maybe this is my new thing. I'm going to get into stickers on my nail polish so I can have designs. Oh, I love that. It's a presumption of innocence. It's so hard to be a Joe. Okay, I've got the toe polish on and I made a mess on the side here and it's already like, I got to file that now because it already dried in the, sir, sir, <laughs> you can't fit through there. You can't fit through there. Whose is that? Did you bring me a present? Well, what an absolute angel. Um, I'm about to do my nails, but that's a sneak peek of my toes. I hate showing my feet. I don't like my feet. I have to get surgery on my feet because they are very, very crooked. So I do not show my feet on anything but I just wanted to say it's very thick there's a lot of go a lot going on because my husband is doing electrical stuff so he's in the basement right now and everybody's concerned about where he is because now that they know he's in the house somewhere they're trying to find him especially the chahu the chahu is very concerned these the hands my nails my hand nails <laughs> What is wrong with me? I'm gonna attempt this, but I will say that I noticed the difference between this and Green Flash so far is it's super thick, which I'm hoping would maybe mean if it's really thick gel, maybe my nails will grow nice and long underneath them and stay like stronger. Okay, now from what I understand, 
you put the sticker on before the top coat. Look at my adorable little nails. Oh, they're so pretty. Good morning. The next day. My hair is so fluffy. Oh my goodness. Why is it so fluffy? It's always how I do my curls on how it decides to act. And this is actually my natural hair that's like super fluffy right now. See, it just like, I can't even hold on to the brush. It looks nice though, at least. So we've got that going for us. It's eventually just gonna go back to this like fullness that it was just a second ago. <laughs> it's really intense. Anyway, um, hi, I have a little bit of sausage finger situation going on. It feels a little tight. So I do think that it's either a sensitivity to the UV and maybe it'll go down or I'm allergic to the gel. <laughs> oh God. I just am so sick of not being able to wear nail polish that isn't just like Sally Hansen's quick dry, but I'm keeping this on so I can do this video that I want to do today No matter what but anyway, I just um, I did a light makeup look today because I just wanted to look You know not it's not about the makeup and the hair. It's the <coughs> Hey, hey, hang on <laughs> I get it the water tastes better in stainless steel it does it does. <laughs> it just does. Something about this and then having a handle. I don't know. I love it. I get it. I get it. I get what all the hype was about and it's, it just tastes better than drinking out of plastic. It does. And cleaning it's going to be so nice. I found I really struggled cleaning my water bottles. So yeah, totally fell for the hype and uh, I agree. I mean, people aren't all going to love something for no reason. But I'm going to go make a cheese board and uh, we're going to have that. We're going to have some wine and I'm going to set up a really cute little situation. I wanted to bring my bud vase downstairs and these dead ass flowers. I need to put some fresh flowers in there. I need to see, I think the stopper is like something's in the way. So I need to like poke something through that. I want to just make it like a nice setup, you know? Here's the dress that I'm wearing. So this is the same as all the dresses that I've purchased uh, on Amazon and I have orange, navy blue, and black. And the ones that I have are longer than this and they come with ties. So this one is definitely more of a summer dress, but I've gone thrifting three times looking for the perfect flirty, flowy, white garden style dress that I could just wear around the house. It's like a house dress. And I finally just gave up looking at the thrift store and went ahead and bought one. Because I like these with the stretchy top here, like this ruched top, really helps with not wearing a bra. Thank you very much, sir. And the sleeves are really puffy and they're short sleeve. This is definitely a summer fabric. So it just feels a little bit more fancy than my other dresses. And my other dresses are rough and tumble. They can take getting washed a bunch. They can take me doing dishes and housework and in and out the house, dog stuff. It can hand, they can handle it. This dress feels a little bit delicate and I'm scared I'm going to ruin it. So I definitely think I still want to get the same style of the other ones I got, but in a, like maybe an off-white or a beige so that I can wear it all year round. This one I will put away for summer. Yeah, I gave it a steam and it's still wrinkled. So you can tell it's one of those dresses that wrinkles really easily. It has a second layer so you can wear underwear underneath and not have to worry about it showing through really bad. If it's like super dark, you will see it, but light underwear, you won't. Again, no bra and you can't see anything through it. So that's great. Yeah, so it's a good dress overall, I would say it's very cute. So if you're going for like a fancier white floral garden dress, then this would be it. If you want one that's a little bit more durable for being like your go-to house dress, I would say maybe pick one that's um, maybe not completely crispy white.
but trying to film both angles, one person, is a son of a bitch. But um, here is the charcuterie, and we have some really delicious looking crackers with um, some flax. We have Castellastrano olives, which are my favorite hands down. They taste like black olives, but they're green. So they have that buttery black olive flavor. Uh, we have hummus, blueberries strewn about, dried apricots, lightly covered with chocolate almonds. I'm gonna go set up the outdoor table and we're gonna have it outside. Well, we devoured that. <laughs> the only thing that's left is a log of sausage and a half a log of goat cheese. And we literally ate everything else. <laughs> I think mostly my husband did though. He went back for like four plates. And I mean, the plates were like this big, but I mean, look at how fluffy, this is my hair. Like this is my hair that's getting really fluffy and it's not matching the extensions fluffiness. Please don't show the internet your phone number. M sirs. Look at these feet. Look at those feet. What? 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 <laughs> what is that? What is that? Must go inspect. Everybody say a little prayer. Everybody say a little prayer for the white dress. <laughs> it's good, it's cute though. I, I think I look cute in white. I think it's my one of my best colors, white and tan. Back for more, are ya? Anyway, I think uh, that's gonna t come out pretty cute. Oh. <laughs> Chahooey. <laughs> what a sweet. Angel, this is. He says, I'm just a chahu. Every day I have to get up and clock in to be a full time chahui. And do you know how hard that is? I'm cold at everything. Everything I touch is freezing cold and I shake and I shiver. <laughs> Weasel and a half. Anyway, um, yeah, the food is really good. The rosé is so good. I still have half a bottle. That stopper thing on it is amazing. It's game changing. I've needed that because every time I've opened a bottle, I've never finished it. <laughs> Unlike if it was real. <laughs> if it was real, <laughs> never had a problem finishing a bottle of wine. When it's dealcoholized, suddenly she's like, oh, one's enough. How annoying is that? Look at this. I just love that it's an option, you know? I love the sober summer thing, theme they've got going on. It's a cool message, you know? Cause this is proof. You can just have a little backyard garden party, you know? And chill, hang out, have some rosé. You don't feel like you're missing out on anything. If you're somebody who can control the amount you drink, <laughs> I'm like myself, then you plan on having a glass anyway, what difference does it make? Cause see for me, the whole point of drinking was to get drunk. Didn't know how to do just one. I'm gonna clean up and go look at the footage. I got some adorable photos by the roses if I do say so myself. And I need to de-head them, but honestly, I just, unpopular opinion, but I hate de-heading my roses. I know it makes the roses bloom other spots, but I figure let it do it on its own time. Why do I have to deadhead it? Because every time I deadhead it, it looks bare. And I like letting the petals hold on to their last breath <laughs> until they're literally getting blown off in the wind. That's how like weak, the, I mean, I think if you have an abundance of roses and you have a lot of rose bushes, I could see how deadheading would be necessary to continue to keep it like rotating. But I only have one and it's my pride and joy. And seeing it blooming with tons of yellow variations of color is great and when it dies you know and it really starts getting crispy then i'll go clip it the sounds 
he makes like a little piglet and honestly i think that's gonna be it Thank you.